Hi! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Dave Jeffrey Camposano. Our topic for the discussion today is all about logarithmic functions. A logarithm is another name for an exponent. So we have log of n base b is equal to x if and only if b raised to x is equal to n. So meron ako dito mga examples ng exponential form to logarithmic form, vice versa. Para makita nyo kung uh, ano ba yung uh, ibig sabihin niyang uh, equation natin sa taas. So if we have exponential form of uh, 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8, it can be written as log of 8 base 2 is equal to 3. If we have b raised to 0 is equal to 1, we can rewrite it in logarithmic form of log of 1 base b is equal to 0. Then last one, if we have 32 raised to negative 1 fifth is equal to 1 half, it can be written as log of 1 half base 32 is equal to negative 1 fifth. Let us discuss the four laws of logarithms. The first law of logarithms is uh, for a, log of b base b is equal to 1, uh, then for b, log of 1 base b is equal to 0, then letter c, log of b raised to x base b is equal to x if b is greater than 0 and b should not be less uh, not equal to 1 so i-prove ipro natin kung talaga uh, ano bang ibig sabihin niyan no so isusulat lang natin siya as exponential so for letter a uh, kung isusulat natin siya as exponential we have uh, b b raised to 1 is equal to b so yun Tama. Okay? So, for letter B, ang proof natin dyan is B raised to 0 is equal to 1. Any number or any variable, if the exponent is 0, that is equal to 1. And then, for letter C, of course, we have B raised to X is equal to B raised to X. Yan lang naman yung first law of logarithms natin. Next, uh, the second law of logarithms or the, it is known as logarithm of products. If we have log of m times n base b, it will be equal to log of m base b plus log of n base b. So, pinaghihiwalay lang natin to. Ayan, no? Pinaghihiwalay with the operation of addition. So, let us try. Simplify each logarithmic expressions. So, for number one, um, that is a, a compress, i-expand natin siya. So, vice versa sa, sa number 3. Number 3, expanded siya, i-compress natin. So, for number 1, ang sagot natin dyan is logarithm, uh, log of 5 base 2 plus log of A base 2 plus log of B base 2. Itong tatlo, pinaghihiwalay lang natin yan. No? 5AB. 5AB. With the operation of addition. Then, ito naman, number 2. Pag pinaghiwalay natin yan, we have um, log of uh, 2 base x plus log of uh, P base x plus log of 3 base x and then last one log of uh, q base x okay then for number 3 ganun naman i-compress lang naman natin siya pagsasamasamahin lang natin or pagdidikit-dikitin lang natin ito ayan no so we have log of um, 10 x y base of 5 so, ganyan ang second law of logarithms natin, the logarithm of products. The third law of logarithms, or, or known as logarithm of quotients. If we have log of m over n base b, it will become it will be equal to log of m base b minus log of n base b. So, minus naman yung nasa taas, ima-minus natin yung nasa baba, kanina addition. So, ngayon, subtraction. Nasa taas, minus yung nasa baba. So, for number 1, uh, we have uh, log 
of 50 base 7 minus log of 3 base 7. So, yung nasa taas, ima-minus natin yung nasa baba. For number 2, we have log of 2x base a minus log of 7 base a. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, ito pwede natin i-apply yung uh, second uh, law, which is law of uh, logarithm of product. So, paghihiwalay lang natin yan. We have log of 2 base a plus log of x base a minus log of 7 base a. Okay? Then for last one, so pansasamahin naman natin. Yung nauuna, ima-minus natin or i-over natin itong nasa pangalawa. We have uh, log of 80 over 5 base of B. Or we have what is 80 divided by 5, that is 16. So we have log of 16 base B. So that that is how we are going to perform uh, logarithm of quotients. The fourth law of logarithms or the logarithm of power. This is the last law. No? So, if we have log of m raised to a base b, it will be equal to a log of m base b. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung, uh, meron tayong exponent. Ito. Yung exponent, inilalagay lang natin sa unahan ng log natin. Then, apply natin. Iko-combine lang natin yung mga uh, loss natin up. Uh, apat lang naman yun eh. Ito yung last one, no? So, let us try. Ito. So, for num uh, number one, meron tayong exponent. Ilalagay lang natin siya sa unahan. So, we have um, one half log of um, x plus 3 base b plus kasi um, multiplication siya, no? Product. So, log of uh, 2x base b pero ito kung mapapansin nyo pwede pa natin yung pag hiwalayin so we have one half log of um, x plus 3 base b plus log of 2 base b plus log of x base b so this will be our final answer For number 2, ang radical, gagawin muna natin siyang exponential. Okay? Then, nakita nyo, a quotient. So, minus. Yung nasa taas, ima-minus natin yung nasa baba. So, gawin muna natin siyang exponential. We have um, log of um, a plus 2 raised to 1 half over um, a plus 3 raised to 1 third base of x. Okay? Tapos, um, ilalagay lang natin, uh, paghiwalay na natin, quotient. So, we have um, log of uh, a plus 2 uh, raised to 1 half minus uh, base of x. No? Minus log of uh, a plus 3 raised to 1 third base of x. Then, ilalagay lang natin yung uh, exponent natin sa unahan. Then, that will be our final answer. So, for our final answer, we have 1 half log of a plus 2 base of x minus o, dito, pagkasyahin na lang natin. 1 third log of a plus 3 uh, A plus 3 Base of X Okay? So, ganyan lang ang number 2 Then, our last number Ayan Pagsasamahin muna natin So, ang technique dyan Unahin nyo muna exponent natin So, meron tayong exponent Ito Ito Saka ito So, we have Um Log of x cube base of b plus 
log of y squared base of b minus log of z raised to 1 half base of b. So, lahat ng plus maiiwan sa taas, yung minus sa baba. Okay? So, we have um, we have um, log of x cubed y squared all over z raised to 1 half base of uh, b. Or, yung 1 half, pwede natin siyang gawing square root. We have uh, log of x cubed y squared over square root of z base of b. Okay? So, don't forget the four laws of logarithms. So, that's all for today. I hope you learned uh, something about the logarithm. No? Have a nice day. Keep safe, everyone. Bye-bye.